Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and welcome back to Build Request. Did you miss me? Good. This request comes from Aiden the Rapper and Glasgow Philosopher, and is Thunderbird 4 from the Thunderbirds. Making Thunderbird 4 the second Thunderbird vehicle I built after Thunderbird 2, which was the first one I built. For those not familiar with the show, well, first of all, you should familiarise yourself with the show, it's really good, but for those who aren't yet, Thunderbird 4 is a fairly simple design to make, functionality-wise, because it is, in essence, a submarine. And fortunately for me, I don't have to learn how to make submarines, because I already did a whole video on how to make them a while ago, when I went and built the yellow submarine from the Beatles movie, and also the blue marine from Star Fox. In fact, that video is actually when Glasgow Philosopher went and requested Thunderbird 4. But as a rather quick recap, you're going to want jets at the back, a downward facing propeller, and maybe a couple of floaters, and in essence that's all you need for a submarine, everything else is about getting the weight right, but we'll get to that later. Either way, with the basic functionality down, it was on to the aesthetic design. I really love the way that Thunderbird 4 looks, because it, much like pretty much every other vehicle in that Super Mario Nation, has a really cool retro futurism look about it. As I started to build the vehicle, I felt like I really wanted to keep it small in scale, probably because a part of me wanted to keep it in scale with Thunderbird 2 which I had already built, though unfortunately reality slowly kicked in, and it became pretty apparent that in order to fit in the details I wanted, I would have to slowly make it bigger and bigger. And one of the most notable details of Thunderbird 4 is, of course, its bulldozer-like front here. Fortunately for me, once again, much like the design of submarines themselves, I've already had some experience with such a bulldozer front when I built the Snowplow Transformation Vehicle from Ukulele, so I was able to draw on that experience pretty heavily. With the front plow completed and a snazzy paint job, Thunderbird 4 was starting to look quite a lot like Thunderbird 4, and so it was time to briefly move away from the aesthetics and back into functionality. I had to now mess around a bit more with the weight and amount and placement of floaters, because for no other reason than I wanted it to look nice when surfaced and sitting on top of the water. With it looking cool while surfaced having been taken care of, I then went and added some lights so it would also look cool while submerged. And so there you have it, Thunderbird 4 in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. It might look a little too blocky, and that's probably partly because the nature of the game in which you build things with blocks, and partly because I'm maybe a little rusty, but either way, I am still fairly happy with it. It is, I think, a pretty okay likeness of Thunderbird 4. And so with all of that said and done, thanks for watching, and until next time, I have been and still am Grim Grindle. If you would like a copy of the vehicle in your own save, as always, what will follow now is the layer by layer. And for those of you still here, thank you for sticking around during this rather long hiatus. Uploads from now on will be, if not frequent, at least more common, both here and on a secondary channel where Grin Grimsley, aka Darkwell Blade, is now also doing a weird history podcast whose first episode goes live at the exact same time as this video.